Our next phylum is Nadaria. Nadaria now is the first phyla to appear on the evolutionary timeline that has the presence of tissues. True tissues exist for these guys. <clears throat> they have radial symmetry. In fact, it is an Adaria that I use, um, polyp form actually, which I'll go to in a bit, um, and an enemy to be specific that I use to teach you radial symmetry and that you can slice up, in theory, uh, that guy any which way and get mirror images. Left and right are mirror images of each other, front and back. Um, so there are different ways in order to cut up the body of a nadaria to give it that radial symmetry. Uh, nadarians are known as having tentacles with stinking cells. These stinging cells are basically used as defense um, and in addition to help capture their own prey for food um, sources. Their body plan is basically a sac-like structure and they have a central digestive compartment. This is termed a gastrovascular cavity. So here I'm actually showing you an anemone blown up in polyp form. And this is the form that's stationary. Uh, so there's two different forms, a stationary polyp form or a floating medusa form. So here's a polyp form that I'm showing you. There's that central gastrovascular cavity. I can see those tentacles coming outwards. These tentacles are different from something I've taught to you um, before. They look like cilia. They're much larger than cilia. cilia. They're not microscopic. You can actually visibly see these extensions. And we're talking about a eukaryotic multicellular creature here and so these are actually very much a part of the body not just a part of the cell there's a little tiny opening that's the mouth and anus it serves both functions um so here is actually an example of the medusa form i'm giving you a jellyfish example here and this guy is no longer stationary they can move and locomotion is achieved by using these tentacle structures as well as propulsion so we still have that central gastrovascular cavity we can kind of see how that form just kind of enveloped on top of it and to give it that propulsion effect there's the mouth and anus serving both functions as well in that jellyfish so these are nadarians